gorgeous border color is titled Midsummer by Hans Huysen. It was painted in 1930 and is one of the first works in the City of Bunbury art collection. It was acquired through the Claude Hodgson bequest. Huysen was born in 1877 in Hamburg, Germany, and at the age of seven he migrated with his family to Adelaide. He bought his first paint set when he was 14 years old and later began formal art lessons with James Ashton. He exhibited regularly in Adelaide and with financial support from local art patrons, Heisen went to study art in Paris in 1899. He studied at several academies, including the famous École des Beaux-Arts. He returned to Adelaide in 1903, where he set up his studio and taught art. In 1908, he married Sally Bartels, one of his students, and moved to Haandorf, a small town in South Australia, settled by the 19th century Lutheran migrants. The town is famous for its German architecture and food. After a series of successful exhibitions, Heisen purchased the Cedars, a large 36-acre block of land. He was not only a painter, but also a strong conservationist. He lobbied his neighbors and local council to preserve the trees around Handorf. Heisen is well known for his depiction of the Australian landscape and in particular the eucalyptus tree. He produced many drawings, watercolors as well as oil paintings and he won many awards including the famous Win Award. He was also a member of the National Art Gallery of South Australia and was knighted in 1959. Heisen passed away in 1968 and is buried in a Handorf cemetery. This particular watercolor is a clear example of his love for the gum trees. It is beautifully executed with sensitive brush strokes and his use of strong colors shape the simplified forms. And look how magnificently he captured the light. As Heisen himself quoted, The main appeal of a gum tree to me is the combination of its mightiness and delicacy. Mighty in its strength of limb and delicate in the coloring of its covering. And then this, he says about the Australian landscape. It's been said that there is a lack of color. It is not as obvious as the greenness of England, but it is infinitely more varied and more delicate in tone. The landscape is a pinky mauve, a lilac, and the reflection of the sun of the particles of the atmosphere is a warm amber. So I should say our color scheme is amber and lilac. 